Hey everybody, the reason I'm coming to you tonight is because I want to show you what I believe is going down with this news. Back in 1974, Carol Rosen talked with Warner Von Braun about the things that would actually go down. And if you go back and listen to her, just do a search for last card, you'll find that everything is going down in the same order as predicted by her. And this was back in May of 2001 when she gave this speech. So listen to what she has to say real quick. Good morning, my name is Carol Rosen. In 1974, after being a sixth grade school teacher, I was introduced to the late Dr. Werner von Braun in the U.S., the father of rocketry. In my first meeting with him during that first three and a half hours, he said to me, Carol, you will stop the weaponization of space. And I said, uh, you know, teachers don't stop until June. He said, no, you have to understand, this is February. And we have to prevent the weaponization of space because there is a lie being told to everyone that the weaponization of space is now first being based upon the evil empire, the Russians. There are many enemies, he said, against whom we're going to build this space-based weapon system, the first of whom was the Russians, which was existing at that time. Then there would be terrorists. Then there would be third world countries. Now we call them rogue nations or nations of concern. Now, as you know, we just have been dealing with Libya. We declared Gaddafi dead and also bin Laden. So we've been dealing with what she predicted as the third world crazies or the third world countries. Then there would be asteroids. And of course, now we're dealing with asteroids. First, it was Elenin, which I don't have to remind you, this is Illuminati card here, is showing the asteroid as being tetrahedron shaped, just like Hoagland said. But now we're dealing with YE55. And YE55 is all over the news, including mainstream. I just saw something on CNN. Well, NASA scientists and amateur astronomers alike will watch a speeding ball of rock hurtle past the Earth this Tuesday. This is the asteroid that they are so keen to study. Its catchy name is 2005 YU55, and this grainy image of it was taken in April of last year. Uh, in about 10 hours, it will pass closer to our planet than the moon. And then he would repeat to me over and over, and the last card, the last card, the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat. So as you can see, everything is playing out exactly as predicted, and they're all false flags. That's another thing that she had mentioned about this. And so the final one is the fake alien invasion. Now many of us have had our questions about the Galactic Federation of Light. And what you have to remember about that organization is that they give their information to us from people who claim to channel them. So if you think about it, anybody could stand up in a crowd and say, I'm channeling the Galactic Federation, please take notes. And they'll produce something, and then Kamarasan sends it out. What's important to remember is that anybody could fake them, just like the anonymous group that we're all familiar with. They could be po COINTELPRO posing for them many times when they start announcing the date and the time that they're doing stuff. So I want to play you this small clip from the Galactic Federation that just came out not long ago. The United States, the Soviet Union, China, and Europe will have joint disclosure at an appointed date set to accommodate each government's timeline. But we have decided that we cannot wait for that time to arrive. Therefore, disclosure begins now. We have made pacts, agreements with kingdoms, such as Atlantis. We gave them technology, and in return we were allowed to study the life that Earth contained including human. In Atlantis, when they used the toy stone, the fire crystal, to enslave people, and they phase-locked their grid, immediately after a large number of people were enslaved, huge earthquakes occurred in which the tectonic plates fell apart and gravity destabilized. And I'm suggesting that there's a direct electrical connection between large numbers of people that are enslaved, and therefore their electric aura is no longer self-steering, and as a result, their gravity field falls apart. The one percenters have it all. But now, that is about to change. In our agreements, the New World Order was agreed upon. This New World Order will coincide with all governments of this world. One World Bank. 
prosperity funds will be dispersed to all. The new world order is to be implemented, synchronized with disclosure and first contact. All this is to happen as Bible prophecy is fulfilled. Of course, when she refers to Bible prophecy, she's referring to the New International Version, in which they changed the Bible to, say, New Order, which is what the Pope did. So, folks, all of this stuff has already been predicted, and it's happening in the exact same order as expected. So, I wanted to bring this news to you, because, number one, the Galactic Federation is possibly a good organization. However, they have their people infiltrating it just like that we do Anonymous, just like we do Occupy Wall Street. Anytime you have a good organization, you're going to have infiltration. Seleucia seems to be the same one that's always talking about the World Bank, the New World Order and stuff. So keep an eye on Seleucia. And as you can see right now, they're dealing with YU-55. So all of these false flags have already been predicted. And they've been doing this stuff ever since the time of Atlantis. They've been messing with us. And when the Catholic Church came in and hid all of their stuff, they have vast libraries of no telling what about our history. A lot of that probably includes some about the, the history that we have that includes Inky and Enlil all the way back to Orion. So I wanted to bring this information to you guys so you can see what is probably going down. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.